All right, have you tried getting into Flux and just men getting frustrated, especially when it comes to creating a, a custom Laura? Well, I want to walk you through today and try to answer one of the most common questions I see, which is how in the world do I do this once I've trained my Laura? So again, just as a reminder, there's a number of different places you can go to do this. I highly recommend you start by going to Black Forest Labs. This is the company that's behind Flux. And once you do that, there's a couple different ways you can do. What you really need to do is just click on our models and go to Flux Pro Ultra. And then they're gonna see different ways that you can do that by clicking on Get Flux. And you can choose different vendors. I have chosen to work with FAL.AI. There are other vendors that you can work with, but all my training is centered around that at this point in time. And I wanna show you how you then navigate to get where you've gone. So that when you log in, you'll have to log into FAL if you don't already have an account. And if you've watched some of my other training, you need to put some money on account so that you can create your images. But once you're here, a lot of people start here and they're trying to figure out why can't I see my Laura? Why can't I use what I've trained? And I wanna show you where you need to go. So you need to go to the Explorer menu, it's super important. Then we need to go ahead and just under search here, type Laura. L-O-R-A, and we need to look for this right here, the Flux Laura Fast Training. And you wanna click on that. When you do that, it should bring up a window that looks very similar to this. And you should, like I do, you should have some completed trainings over here that represent the Laura's you've trained. Now you may have one, you may have multiples, but this is where they should be. In order to use this, by the way, if you haven't done it, watch my other video showing how you upload files over here and how you pick your trigger word. If you have done that and you've got them, you need to click on this button, Run Inference. It's really important. When you click on Run Inference, it's gonna change and it's gonna automatically insert your trigger word. As you can see right here, my trigger word's Jonathan J. Mast. For me, this is my trained Laura. It's gonna insert that right there and it's gonna give you a path that it's gonna fill in right here. If it doesn't do that for any reason, you're gonna to need to reach out to FAL for support. Unfortunately, I, I don't do support there, so I can't help you, but that's it worked for me every single time I've done it. So I don't think you guys should have a problem with that. So again, just as a reminder, and I'm gonna show you my other Laura works the exact same way. So that first Laura I showed you is the one trained on me. This next one is trained on a style for a 3D cartoon image. Not any different, but notice when I go here, it updates it and it says it's my 3D cartoon and it gives me my path right here. So it's really important that you click on that run inference before you type your prompt. If I try to just go to Flux and do that and use my trained Laura, it will not use your trained Laura. It'll create an image, but it won't be your trained Laura. So you wanna make sure that you go back into the Flux Laura Fast Training pick under training history, pick the model that you want. If you have multiples, you'll need to remember what they are. I don't know of an easy way to rename them. And then click on run inference and you'll know you're in the right spot because again, it's gonna throw your trigger word or trigger phrase right here. Then you can put your prompt in. Super important though, make sure that when you put your prompt in, you have to still include your trigger word. Now it can be anywhere within the prompt, but you have to use it. So in my case here, I have to use that trigger word, Jonathan J. Mast, somewhere in my prompt or it won't use my Laura. It'll just go ahead and create a standard image. You've gotta use the trigger word in order to engage that. So first run inference and then make sure you use your trigger word in the prompt. Hope this helps. If you've got any questions, put them down below or feel free to post over in my Facebook group, AI Prompts for Entrepreneurs, and I'm sure you can get some help there from the literally hundreds of people that have gone through this. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.